everyone, Dave here, and I'm here at the That's From Disneyland pop-up because, of course I am. Did you expect anything else? That's right, right off the 101, the Van Eaton Gallery hosted That's From Disneyland, an exhibit and auction that really fouled up parking for the citizens of Sherman Oaks who just needed pet food or a chance to dress for less. But it was located right across from buildings that look like they belong in Fantasyland, so where else could it go? For most of August 2018, this abandoned sports authority was turned into a better-lit version of that warehouse from the Main Street Electrical Parade commercial, complete with live entertainment! I was out of town for the first half of August, and really busy for the last half, so I missed the live entertainment. And man, would I have loved a chance to see these shows. The good boys of Podcast the Ride talking to Tony Baxter himself? Well, at least I got to listen to that later, and I highly recommend you do the same. But still, an Alan Menken concert? Paul Shear talking to Jeff Garland, Ben Schwartz, Rachel Bloom, and Ali Gertz? That's like a who's who of people I want to be friends with! But at least I got to visit the gallery itself, so I could see Richard Kraft's personal collection of memorabilia, merchandise, and actual things from the park, and I could gaze longingly at all the items I could theoretically bid on if I ever in my life had more than $100,000 in my bank account. Hell, I'll settle forever in my life having more than $2,000 in my bank account. As you entered the exhibit, you were greeted with the old sea serpent from the submarine voyage, and boy was it good to see this old guy again. Of course, this is only one of the serpents. There's another one out there somewhere because the submarine voyage show is replicated on both sides of the vehicle. The Kraft family kept this out by their swimming pool, which is cool and all, but I want both sea serpents so I could put them on either side of a slip and slide. Most of the items on display were posters, but odds are if you're watching my channel, you would fill your room with these posters at the drop of a hat. Especially the posters that serve as relics of other phases some of these attractions went through. I'm a tour guide on the jungle river. In addition to posters, there was other signage, like part of the old Disneyland Hotel sign. Can this be my new D-list backdrop? There were also signs from the old parking lot and from restaurants, showcasing the evolution of both theme park food prices and standards for lowest common denominator mass consumption food. The exhibit also showcased the evolution of commerce in the park, with relics of cross-promotion of old and merchandise long since discontinued, often with good reason. Man, early Disneyland sure loved its guns. In addition to items that were seen in the park, there were items from the development of the item seen in the park, scale models and concept art of attractions before they were built. Or in some cases, never built. And there were plenty of things that have since been rebuilt in the park, like this earlier version of Jose from the Tiki Room. And it was really cool to see him up close and from this different angle. Although it's kinda creepy to see him go through the whole show without his castmates, but still reacting to his castmates. Before I see, Schmidt has no hair! Hey, amigo, stop the clucking. You sound like a bunch of old hands. Does he think they're still there with him? It's like those shorts the Three Stooges made after Shemp died, but before they hired Joe Besser. Of course, there's always some things in the park that are meant to be temporary, only intended to be there for a limited time. Good thing this card is telling us which nephew is which, since there's no way to tell from their colors. Out of all the items on auction, the ones with the most practical use around the home are the trash cans! Look, you need trash cans at home anyway, so why not make it the happiest trash on Earth? Who cares if you can get equally functional trash cans anywhere else for one hundredth of a percent of the price? But the most enviable of the auction items were the ride vehicles. Vehicles from rides from Disneyland's present and past. Vehicles from Mr. Toad, the Matterhorn, the original Star Jets, the Skyway, the People Mover, and... Whoa, there's still an existing Rocket Rods vehicle? They weren't all burned in a ditch and then salted so that nothing more may grow there? Honestly, Rocket Rods gets a bad rap for being part of the reason the People Mover track will never again be able to support human passengers, but I remember digging it when I rode it, although that may be because I was 11. But what I really wanted was the Peter Pan's flight vehicle. I have mentioned before that it was the first thing I ever rode at Disneyland, and I wish I could take home this special piece of my special relationship with this special place, so I could turn it into the most cumbersome porch swing ever. Of course, it's not a Disney park experience without photo ops and long lines, and we got both in the form of the Haunted Mansion Stretching Portrait Gallery, where my girlfriend and I took the picture that will be our Christmas card forever. It's also not a Disney park experience without a gift shop on the way out, full of merch that's theoretically more affordable than the auction items, but still be on my budget for the month. Okay, wrong park for that stuff. <laughs> it's time to play Do I Need Another T-Shirt. 
Parade flag Mary Poppins is taking none of your shit. Well, they somehow found a way to make Peter Pan coming into a child's bedroom even creepier. By now, all this stuff has been sent off to the homes of loving collectors who have more expendable income than my family will ever accumulate over five generations. And I kinda hope these collectors come together again for a museum exhibit or two in the future, so more fans like me can spend some more time with the Disneyland that is no more. Amidst our frequent visits to the Disneyland we still know and love. Some imagination, huh?